Hello, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a good sized haul for you today. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is what I follow to lose and maintain my 100 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my free, amazing, supportive Facebook group, also down in the description box. Come join us. We'd love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at my local Fry store, which is a Kroger store. What you don't see is a 24 pack of Diet Coke and a couple of eight packs of Gatorade Zero for Troy. Those are currently in the garage fridge. So let me show you everything I picked up for the week. So I grabbed Troy another box of the Yasso ice cream bars. This is one of his favorite flavors, the mint chocolate chip. These are a dollar off right now, so it makes them $4.79, which is still really expensive, especially compared to Costco. I am hoping to run to Costco when Lola's at chemo this next week, so we'll see if I have enough time to do that, but I'll be picking them up there if I do. But he really likes these. They're a great sweet treat. I love them as well. They're low calorie and lots of protein. And then I grabbed two cans of whole large olives. I'm going Going to be making his pasta salad for him this week. If you don't, if you want the pasta salad recipe, it's on my website under Troy's pasta salad. So if you're interested in seeing the salad, it's really, really good. And it calls for olives. The sliced olives are twice the price of whole olives. So I decided just to get whole olives and I will just cut them up myself. These were two for four, so pretty good deal. And then I did pick up some true rip. True Whip because I've been seeing some really good recipes on Instagram using whipped cream just for a high protein sweet treat. So I picked this up. We'll definitely try out some of those recipes in my upcoming What I Eat in a Day. And then their Jenny O ground turkey is on sale for $3.49 a pound this week, which is really, really good. I have quite a bit of meat in my freezer. So I only picked up one pound. This is 93.7. I've been making ground meat and rice for Lola on when after she goes to chemo so that she actually eats. So that's probably what I'll use this for. I have quite a bit of meat in my freezer, like I said, and there was no other reduced meat that I was interested in. So I decided just to go ahead and grab one pound. Couldn't pass up that deal. Also, I grabbed some of these M&M cookies. These were 50% off, so two bucks. I usually buy these for the week for us. And then I needed some reduced fat cream cheese for a recipe. So I picked up the Kroger brand. It was two bucks compared to almost four for the Philadelphia brand. And then I also grabbed some light Mexican blend. The shredded cheese is also on coupon this week. I have been obsessed. And when I say obsessed, I mean eating every single day. That protein fluff that I made in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. If you missed my Wednesday video, I'll link it down below for you. But I made this really good over 20 gram dessert using cottage cheese and frozen fruits but you would never know that there's cottage cheese in it. It's so good, but I needed some more frozen fruit. So I got this mix of blueberries, strawberries, and mangoes. I'm going to see what other options Costco has, but this was $8.99 on sale, so not a bad price. A couple of gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week, and then two good yogurts are 99 cents each if you buy five. So I bought five, one strawberry, one blueberry, one mixed berry, and then the lemon, the Meyer lemon, absolute favorite. I've been making lots of yogurt bowls as well. That's a great snack for me. Good way to get in protein, carbs, and fat. So I picked up five more yogurt. And then of course, lots of cottage cheese. So they're, these are on sale right now for $2.99, which is really, really good. Normally they're over $4.00 upwards of $5 per container. So I picked up two of the low fat good culture, my all time favorite cottage cheese, truly the only brand that I'll eat. And then I needed some more 0% non-fat Greek yogurt for my meal prep. Elbow macaroni, this is for Troy's pasta salad. And then I got Spanish rice. I was debating if I wanted to do rice aroni. The macros were pretty similar to the one that you just throw in the microwave versus the one you make yourself. So I got the microwave one. This is actually for a recipe. I picked up some wildflower honey ham. This is on sale for $10.49 a pound. This was $9.55 with the discount. Troy's been making a lot of sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches, so he asked for a refill of lunch meat. And then also for his salad, I need diced ham. This is something I add to it for some extra protein. 
I also want to make my protein breakfast bowl. Another thing I really, really love to make. I share it a lot on my channel and it does use hash browns. I like the Simply Hash Browns way better than any frozen hash browns. So I bought another bag of those so that I can make those protein bowls. And then I also just got some regular long grain white rice for Lola. Corey's favorite bread in the whole world is still on sale for $2.99 a loaf. So I picked up two loaves. I'm going to throw one in the freezer. I got this time I got brioche. I've never bought this one for him. He really likes just this plain white bread, but I thought he could try this as well. And again, I'll throw a loaf into the freezer. That is pretty close to the price at Sam's or Costco. And then I needed some sun-dried tomatoes for a recipe. I had to look all over the store for these. I could only find the jarred ones in oil. And finally, some lovely employee directed me back to produce and I found these over by the croutons and all those nuts and seed sa salad toppings. So I picked those up. I also grabbed a Caesar salad kit so that we can do a salad night. It's one of my favorite little dinners or lunches. I throw my real good chicken strips diced up from the air fryer on that for a punch of protein. And then quite a bit of produce. I needed baby spinach for a recipe and I do often add baby spinach in with this just to bulk it up with some extra greens. They had some fantastic fruit sales, $1.49 for fresh blueberries and $1.49 for strawberries. And I haven't had strawberries in so long. So I went ahead and grabbed two. I think I'm going to leave these out on the counter for just a day or so. They're not, in my opinion, quite right for my liking. So I'm going to leave those out to ripen up a little bit, but that'll be really good for yogurt bowls and a fruit for the week. I needed some celery for choice pasta salad, as well as green onions, fresh basil for a recipe. So I just grabbed the little pack of bananas. This is for my meal prep. And then like I've said the last couple weeks, I have been on a major banana kick and I'm still on a banana kick. So I grabbed some bananas, a spaghetti squash for my meal prep. And then lastly, radishes for Troy's pasta salad. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. I'm going to be making cheesy bean and rice burritos and Tuscan chicken and pasta. I'm not sure what recipe you'll see in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Definitely one of the two of those. And then of course, like I said, I picked up the salad kit for a salad night. And then for my meal prep for breakfast, I'm making protein breakfast cookies. I wanted something quick, easy, on the go that I could pair with extra protein or fruit. I'm really excited for these. I love a good breakfast cookie. And then for lunch, I'm actually making baked meatballs and I'm doing kind of a meal prep with those, like a little bento box. So that'll be really fun. And then I am going to be making lemon cinnamon rolls for a sweet treat. So stay tuned on on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for a healthy week. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Have an amazing, amazing day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.